I don't understand it. I've paid into these insurance companies. They've made a lot of money off my premiums. But it would be like going into a restaurant, paying for your meal, and if you ever dare expect them to serve it, you're never going to be allowed back in the restaurant again. Cynthia Campbell. I'm a registered nurse. I've been a registered nurse for 30 years. Nine months ago, I was diagnosed with two cancers, rhabdomyosarcoma and ad adenosarcoma. These are very aggressive. It's a stage four cancer, which is the worst. The problem I'm having is that my insurance ends in two and a half months, and I really don't know where or how I'm going to be able to have insurance after this point. I uh, went to work, I work in a recovery room, and so I'm on my feet all the time. It's a very active and intense situation. Went home that Friday evening. Over the weekend, I wasn't feeling too good. Monday, I went into the emergency room, and there they told me I had a massive cancer, a massive tumor. It turned out that I did have a stage four cancer with metastasis. It's such an overwhelming piece of information. You can't think, you can't process. People say things to you, even simple things, and it just doesn't make sense. I was angry that it would happen to my wife. I'm the one who gets beaten up, not her. This is the first time she's ever had anything ever happen to her. Before the cancer was identified, before we know she had cancer, they canceled her insurance on her. I had Blue Cross of California, and the reason they dropped me is that I had used the insurance once in the previous year, not for anything to do with this. And I was told by the insurance agent, let's jump in with this short-term policy. There was nothing wrong with Cynthia at the time. Just let's get this short-term, and then we'll work on a long-term policy. I said, fine. Not long after, she's in the hospital. Not long after, we're finding that the bills are mounting into the thousands, the tens of thousands, and tens and tens of thousands of dollars. It took the insurance company eight months after much wrangling with me and with the hospital before the insurance carrier finally agreed that yes, Cynthia was covered. I think the tragedy of my situation is that the health care mess is totally preventable. It's a product of greed. It's not a product of lack of resources. There are doctors and nurses who've always been there to work, but now we've got this middleman mentality that you've got to get profit to the corporations that own the insurance companies. Now, why is that? Cynthia's got a master's degree in epidemiology. I have a master's in history. I'm a professional pilot. She's an epidemiologist. We've worked all of our lives. But because of the loopholes, it leaves us in a position of not knowing what to do.